hi guys in this tutorial i will show you how you can use select query to show some data in asp.net from sql server database so this is visual studio 2017 community edition and we are also using sql server 2017 uh, so first of all we have to create a new project in visual studio Okay, we are going to create ASP.NET web application and we will name it uh, select query test okay and then okay then we're, we are going to create it and we are going to create an empty project uh, we are not going to select any folder or references because it's just a basic project Now it is creating a new project while it's creating a new project we will create a new uh, database that we are going to use uh, for our uh, tutorial and we are going to name it uh, select theory db okay, that's that's our database name and we are going to uh, create a new table right click on the table or and select on the table and it will just oh, sorry table and we are going to name some column we can call it ID and we can have the data type as uh, okay we are going to select begin we are going to have student name and we can have it as word sure and we can have age and we can also have age as begin okay we have our table then I'm going to click on the table and save it as student underscore table so we have our student table uh, we will add some data in the table so you're going to refresh it from here and we have our table I'm going to to right click on the table and edit top 200 rows and it's showing the table now we can have the ID uh, 111 student name John age 17 876 student name Peter age 16 name Patrick age seventeen again Liana age fifteen. So uh, so now we have our table and data in this table. Now we are going to create uh, a right link on the project and from here we are going to add uh, a new item into our uh, project uh, we will add a web form and we will name it as test select query so we are going to add this page into our uh, project now uh, we have this page uh, we are going to go to design view first of all we are going to create a uh, deconnection string uh, for connection uh, with uh, with our database so we will have connection strings and then in this we are going to add a connection string we are going to write add then we are going to name the connection string we will call it db string and then after that we will have the connection string in which 
we are going to write t data source data source and here uh, we'll write the server name uh, which is we can get it from here uh, you will connect connect, uh, connect on this button which is connect object explorer when we are going to connect in this we will get the server name and we can right click and have to copy the server name and we will paste the server name here uh, after that uh, writing the server name we will write we have to close it then initial uh, cat catalog in this we have to write the uh, database name um, which we are going to use in the server so in this case we have select query db database query db database and uh, then at the end we have to write integrated security is equal to so this is our connection string that we have made here and after we have made our connection string we will we are going to we have added a page and in this page we are going to add in design view to just add a new uh, grid view in which we are going to show uh the data from the table that we have made so from here uh, we are going to save this page and then we are going to go to uh, the aspx.cs page in this we are going to write the code in the page load page uh, first of all we have to add some uh, libraries which is uh, system dot configuration library and system dot data dot sql client so we have added the two libraries into our our project now the page load we are going to write the the code in the page load in which we are going to make the connection uh, first of all uh, we are going to make make a string uh, which is one string connection string uh, configuration management dot connection strings and we are going to name here our connection string was db string so we are going to write db string here dot connection string and yeah we are done for the connection string uh, then we will make sql connection con equal to new SQL connection in which we are going to pass the uh, connection string and now we have our connection ready now I'm going to write con dot open we have now our connection and I have opened connection and after that we are going to write our uh, string SQL uh, string from the server which is select start from our table name is uh, student underscore table it will be in double quotes 
so we have made our string now and now we are going to write the SQL command uh, that is going to uh, run that string SQL command cmd is equal to new SQL command uh, in which we are going to pass our SQL string and connection uh, after that we are going to create a SQL data reader uh, from which we are going to send our data to the grid view so the grid view we created is grid view 1 which we can here is a page and here it is the ID of grid view is grid 1 so we are we have to write the ID here and then we have to mention the data source for our grid view that is reader and then we will find the data okay yeah uh, we have our page ready so we are going to run it it will take a bit of time as my PC is a bit slow but it will run and yeah Visual Studio takes a lot of RAM from your computer and also the processor so it's a bit heavy on your computer just waiting come on just run um, yeah uh, here is our data uh, which we enter here so okay why we are not getting this row because uh, I didn't press enter and we didn't run to next row so it's not saved now it's saved let us check it will run faster this time because I have run it before okay now we have all our rules uh, our table the whole table is here so uh, it's quite simple uh, I didn't edit the drag and drop uh, I didn't use a drag and drop uh, to use uh, to add the data source but I write the whole code here so you get the idea how to write connection string uh, how you are going to connect make the connection object uh, SQL command and SQL data reader to get data into the data grid and show it in the web browser and the connection so it's quite simple we use the select query to get data from sql server uh, thank you